posted on social media today. Nothing makes me happier than decimating whoever dares approach the peak of my mountain. Strong foreshadowing words for her opponent. Well, it might be unfortunate then that her challenger possesses the ability to move mountains and might shove the champ clean off the top. She Look at this. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Hammerlock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This one's about the women's championship, and nothing means more to these women than that title. She's dazed in the corner there, stringing together some big moves here. She's looking good now. We'll see if it lasts. Shoulder right to the midsection. Oh, and she turns it around. Back body draw. Oh, you see the height on that? Beth Phoenix in some trouble here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Just getting all twisted up. Boom! Right between the eyes. And Beth Phoenix reverses it. Boom! Running FTO plants. Nicely done. Amazing reflexes on display. Oh, 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 oh. When it comes to female superstars, guys, there are few who can match careers with Beth Phoenix. I mean, she has practically done it all. And here she is tonight, continuing to build on her already impressive legacy. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. Here we go. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. Ooh, vicious double axe handle. The champ trying to roll with these hits. She can withstand the punishment, though. Devastating kick. Not what she was looking for. saying about Beth's legacy. She's done everything from capturing women. Time to end this. The champ will stay champ. Oh, man, can Beth Phoenix recover from this? For the win to retain the championship. One, two, three. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. Really a solid, bullying on great winner, performance. And still and the finally, SmackDown Women's Champion, the... To address the WWE Universe. Since I defeated Mickie James over two and a half years ago, I've had the privilege of defending this championship against the very best female competitors in WWE. But when you're the longest reigning women's champion in the modern era, it's only natural you start to look for new ways to challenge yourself. And considering it's a little wild west around here right now with no GM, I figured this was my chance to do that. So I thought about doing an open challenge, but that's a little played out. I could force myself to win with the four or five count, maybe, or I could do something really unprecedented and defend my title against male superstars. So what do you think? It's Becky Lynch and her savages. Uh, nothing good ever happens when they come around. Well, it's your opinion, Saxton. Personally, I think they're one of the best things going today on SmackDown Live. Well, whether you like them or not, you can't deny the influence they have over WWE. I'm not arguing with that. Ever since Becky Lynch took control of this faction, she's pretty much been able to do whatever she wants, except for taking that SmackDown Live Women's Championship away from Red. I have a feeling that could change real soon.
So you want to give yourself new challenges like five counts or facing men? Well, I have a better idea. How about you forget all that and face the man? <laughs> it's funny you still throw around that title after all these years. I mean, I'm the one who's held an actual title longer than anyone since the 1970s. So, I'm pretty sure that makes me the man. <clears throat> I am the man because I'm the leader of the most powerful force this sport has ever seen. And that's when there's someone in charge. So just think of what we're capable of when no one's steering the ship. So unless you want to find out what happens when we have free reign, I suggest you give me my title match tonight. If you didn't hear me the first time, I'm looking for new challenges not rematches against played out losers I've already beat. And you and your crew trying to intimidate me isn't going to change that. Besides, everyone knows you're just all bitch and no bite. Oh, well, if you're not gonna give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. Boys, little help. I'm gonna show Red here my bite. Red is severely outnumbered here. So far, Red's holding her own. Not anymore. Becky Lynch is showing Red that she's not just all talk. Here comes Trey to help his best friend. I admire his courage, but Trey has no chance against these guys. It's it's four on one. I told you, Becky and her savages are one of the best parts of SmackDown Live. It's clear that unless she can somehow even up the sides, Red faces an uphill battle to hold on to her SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think you're looking at the man who's going to end Red's record-breaking title reign. We gotta get even with Becky and her savages. How are we gonna do that? We're at a five on two disadvantage. We saw what happened out there, and we wanna help. Great. Where were you 15 minutes ago? We all had severe simultaneous leg cramp syndrome, or SSLCS. It's a real proven medical condition that can occur when superstars team as long as we have and their body's ailments become synchronized. Uh, I don't think they're buying it. Look, the truth is that we didn't want to get involved in your business. And we know sometimes certain people can be a bit stubborn about wanting to do things on their own. He's talking about you. Nah, it could be anyone. It's fine. I know I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. I can recognize when we need help. So we'll take it. Thank you. So do we do like a secret... New Day handshake now or something? How about you two rest up and next week we'll see what we can do about Becky and her crew. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg cramp acting up again. Uh, you, you guys feeling it too? You can stop that now. Not long after my issues with Becky Lynch heated up, SmackDown Live filled its open GM position. We were excited to see who it was. Well, until we saw who it was. Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM of SmackDown Live. Apparently she's traded MMA and Hollywood for WWE. This is crazy. This isn't crazy, it's genius. Thank you. I'm so excited to be the new general manager of SmackTown Live! Did you just come out here, interrupt us, and say SmackTown Live? She definitely said that, and I have 2020 hearing. Ah, uh, you're off to a good start as GM. Please, continue. Knowing that I was up for this gig, I watched the show last week for the first time, and I have to say, I didn't like what I saw from you, Red. Instead of accepting Becky Lynch's challenge, you resorted to cheap insults, which led to Becky having no choice but to defend herself. So, Red, you said last week you wanted new challenges? Well, I have one for you. You're going to defend your women's championship in the first ever best out of five team match. 
It will be a one night series of singles matches between Red, Trey, and your buddies The New Day, taking on Becky Lynch and her savages. If Red's team wins the series, she retains her title. If Becky's team wins, she is the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. She just said it again. The name of your show is SmackDown Live. Say it with me. Smack down. Town makes more sense, but whatever. Guys, guys, we're losing track of the fact she just put us in a best out of five series for Red's title, which seems super unfair. I mean, who would do such a thing? Who? 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 Hey, I know we formed an alliance, but that's kind of our thing, okay? With all due respect, you're really stacking the deck against Red, so I have an idea that would help even things up a bit. You give our team home field advantage. That's right. If Red's putting her title on the line under these circumstances, then the series should take place on our turf. What kind of turf are we talking? Synthetic or natural? Because I prefer a natural tall fescue. I meant more of a New Day home arena vibe, but we could look into the fescue. I like what you're thinking, except Becky's team should have an equal opportunity to secure home field advantage. So later tonight, it will be Red and a team member of her choosing versus Becky and a partner of her choice. The winner of that match will earn home field advantage for their team in the best out of five series. Who's it going to be, Red? Yeah. yeah. Who? 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 That was a test, and you passed. Good job. There's really not a bad choice, unlike the choice of Brooklyn as GM. Ooh, she just laid the smack town on her. <laughs> so I'm going to team with... Great decision. Ooh, I can smell the sweet aroma of tall fescue headed our way. Home field advantage is on the line later tonight on SmackDown Live. Put Red in a situation like we've never seen before. She and her partner must win this match to earn home field advantage for a best of five series between Red's team and Becky Lynch's Savages with the SmackDown Live Women's Championship on the line. I am still shocked that Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM, so I can't imagine how Red and Trey must feel. They've been rivals with Brooklyn since they were teenagers. Brooklyn Von Braun is an accomplished professional. I'd be very surprised if she let an age-old high school grudge get in the way of her job as general manager. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Oh, again! Inverted DDT! Oh, had that well scouted. Oh. Kick break in the midsection. Byron, you've seen Becky compete since her days in NXT. Would you say she is one of the most difficult superstars to devise a strategy against? Oh, absolutely, Michael. It's one of the reasons Becky is such a feared competitor. The Irish last kicker can trade holds, exchange martial arts strikes, and take to the air with the best of them. Ooh-wee. And she's getting fired up here. She's a live wire when she's plugged in. Becky Lynch may be in trouble here. Straight punch. Defenseless in the corner now. Oh, heavy duty right hand. I'll reiterate Byron's point, how Becky Lynch is a versatile fighting style to put her on the offensive. But it's more than that. What do you think, Corey? As much as it pains me to concur with either of you, but yes. It goes back to Becky's training in so many different disciplines and that she's quite comfortable letting her fists and feet do the talking for her. Oh, well, look out! She's ready for something big. The referee really has to be on his game here in this mixed tag team match. Ooh, right to the throat! Now, trampling the opposition. 
Hammerlock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What should Becky Lynch try to do differently at this stage to stay in this thing? Out on the apron. Oh, this uh -oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. On the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Oh, uh, now it's Becky Lynch making her pay. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Three. And off the tag is Finn Balor. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Ooh, that hurt. Terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Big back Just sending a message there. And Big E manages to reverse out of that one. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. Reverses. Can he make him pay? here who's going to get the advantage and maintain control harsh impact looks like becky lynch could be done for i'm not used to seeing this oh the reversal by becky lynch escapes in a nick of time and look at it a back suplex Inside the ring. Look at this. One, two, oh, somehow. Yeah, Becky Lynch's heart continues to beat loud and strong, staying alive in style here. She's look at this. Becky Lynch is just too fast for her. Uh-oh. Changes her fortune there. Uh-oh. Inverted 
DDT. Tying up the legs now. Oh, look at the surfboard. Straight punch. It's starting to come together in a big way. Looks like she's tapped into some unseen energy source. Wow. Not looking good right now. Right forward. This match is wearing her down. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Scoop slam. Becky Lynch making her pay. Ooh, impressive counter. Boom, what impact. He's going for the cover. Look at this. She better have a good reason for this. Just laying it in. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, uh, no, 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 and no. Suplex on the apron. The hardest part of the ring. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Great reflexes. Soaring European uppercut. to the arm, hyper extend your elbow. Finds a way to reverse. She wants it one more time. Is it enough to put Becky away? Does Becky Lynch even know where she is? It could be over here. One, two, three. Match is huge in the sense that whoever wins will give their team an important 1-0 advantage in the best of five series. Yeah, these series are all about establishing momentum. You want to put pressure on the other team and make them feel like their backs are up against the wall. Both might be putting a little too much significance into this. It's just the first match. If a team takes a 2-0 lead, then we'll talk. Back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Look at this. Dunn hooks him up. Into a power bomb. WWE made history in 2017 with a tournament to crown the inaugural United Kingdom champion, which I was lucky enough to call in person. And in that tournament, this man, Pete Dunn, emerged as the next can't miss superstar. Twisting the body. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. What technical prowess from Kofi Kingston. He's not looking so hot here, guys. And momentum is certainly not on his side right now. Tornado oh. DDT! Viking DDT! Great balance possessed by King. Incoming. Diving leg drop! How impressive was that reversal? From behind! Back suplex! He's on his heels a bit now. A change of strategy has to be his next move. If I was Kingston, I would not be showboating at this point of the match. Bam! Suplex! Now momentum is in the corner of Kofi Kingston. He can turn up the heat at will, it seems. Oh! Again! Would you look at this? It looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Kofi Kingston is in position. Oh, 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 oh. That's his go-to move. That 
should do it right there. One, two, real close, too close for comfort. This is amazing. With a 180, Kofi Kingston, the reversal. Carefully measured knee drop. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Look at this. Suplex. His shoulders are down. To the ropes. And the ref sees it. That'll turn your lights out. Focused attack on the back. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Jam your leg in a bad way. We got a cover. One, two, Never say die attitude out of him. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. Ooh, no one gets done there. Too quick. Ooh, no luck against Kingston there. Kofi just too fast. Hurt them. Ooh. Here it goes. Uh-oh, leaping high. There's the cover. Can he do it? should post that up. Will it be? I think so. One, two, three. As match two of the series gets underway, I don't want to lose perspective on just how unique this situation is. We have Biggie and Sheamus essentially competing over the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. This is groundbreaking content from our new general manager, Brooklyn Vaughn Braun. And honestly, I'm all for anything that breaks the mold. I think I'm going to have to wait and see how the series plays out before I weigh in. But my initial reaction is this isn't exactly fair for the champion, Rick. It's not about being fair, Byron. It's about entertaining the WWE Universe. And that's exactly what this accomplishes. I wanted Mr. Bootyworth to penetrate my ears. We'll see how long his stamina can last. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. For the first time, Big it all the way from the top. Oh, elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. They can just punch him in the chest. Big back body drop. Sheamus looking a little bit surprised here. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. The Celtic Warrior first displayed his awesome power. Big E goes for the big ending. Sheamus counters. Bro kick. This could be it. Sheamus gets the win more importantly. With the series now tied up in one victory each, this match is pivotal in giving one team a 2-1 lead and putting them a win away from taking both the series and the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think this is where we start to see the experience and cohesiveness of Becky Lynch's Savages take over. Even though these are singles matches, Red and Trey barely know the New Day. And if things start to go south, they could all fall apart. I have to agree with Corey. We know Red and Trey are tight, and certainly the New Day have been teaming for a very long time, but I question the kind of bond the five of them have been able to create in just a few weeks. He's fading, guys. That corner is the only thing keeping him upright. Xavier Woods taking charge. Whoa, he picked up steam and shows no signs of letting up. And Xavier Woods executing the reversal. Again, yet another counter. Strong Ugh. kick. Overhead 
kick finds the mark. A really great decision by Woods to capitalize. Smart. Big time clothesline. Finn Balor lands hard. Finn might be hurt. Yeah, it looks like he might have tweaked his knee. Wait a minute. What's Pete Dunne doing out here? Well, maybe he wants to check on his teammate. That's why he's here. And Finn Balor suddenly recovers. He's going to the top. It's all over. Was Finn Balor ever really hurt, or was this just a... We spoke earlier about a team's back being up against the wall, and that's certainly the case for Red, as she faces Becky Lynch down 2-1 with the series in her championship on the line. That's what I was saying about this series being unfair for Red. She can defeat Becky Lynch, but still lose her title if Trey were to go down in the final match. Or Becky Lynch can beat Red right now, making this whole discussion pointless. I suggest we see what happens before anyone starts a protest. What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. She's bringing the pressure on now. She's got the skill to go on runs. Now we'll see if she has the stamina. Don't know if it's going to work, but Becky is playing mind games now. Back inside the ring. Ooh, right to the gut. High angle belly to back suplex. Becky Lynch may be slowing some here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Oh! Oh, stomp it away. Tough spot for her here, guys. It's like she doesn't even know where she is. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Oh, now it's Becky Lynch making her pay. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Jarring. You know how they say that to be the man, you have to beat the man? Well, according to Becky Lynch, she's beating them all. That's why she calls herself the man. You already said it yourself, Cole. According to Becky Lynch, she's beating them all. Is no one going to talk about how the man has an overinflated sense of self? by Becky Lynch. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, again! The fatigue is setting in for her. She can withstand the punishment, though. Suplex! Launched. Corey, your observation of Becky having an ego is your viewpoint only. You've had it out for Becky since our days in NXT. You absolutely cannot deny that she has defeated every woman that she's crossed paths with in that locker room. She has more than earned the right to call herself the man. Her sense of self is properly inflated. I'm just going to say she's re- Pinball attempt here from Becky Lynch. Looking to steal one there, perhaps. Clearly not enough damage done. Wow, she turned that one around. She wants to finish this. This looks like the second two. Warm up the buses. Can she keep her down? One, two, three. The match is over. That's all she wrote. With the teams tied at two wins each, it all comes down to match five for the series in Red SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Trey's been in a lot of big matches throughout his career, but the professional and personal ramifications of this might be bigger than any other. Red may not talk to him for weeks if he's the reason her record-setting championship reign comes to an end.
This might be putting undue responsibility on Trey since two of his teammates lost matches earlier tonight. However, I will agree he's facing immense pressure being in this winner-takes-all position. And I know I certainly wouldn't want to be him right now. I don't think I've seen a superstar with Drew McIntyre's single-minded drive to win. Even when faced with his release in 2014, McIntyre said he'd be back, and that's exactly what happened. And a lesser man would have felt sorry for himself and blamed others, but Drew traveled the globe and honed his devastating craft. All the way over. He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. Yeah, showing some great technique and full of energy right now. Lives to fight another day. I don't know what he has planned out here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. Whoa. Following up on McIntyre's triumphant return to WWE, not only was he true to his word, but he came back even more ferocious a competitor than I think anyone has ever seen. McIntyre's newfound brutality and power within WWE is truly astonishing. And quite frankly, I love it. Drew McIntyre fans with some reason to worry here. It's not. Oh, oh, oh. Diving knee drop. Whoa. Oh, again. Drew McIntyre made him pay there. Three. Great agility there. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? Into a ripcord lariat. What a combination. Three. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. entire and the ref goes down we've seen just about everything tonight wait a second it is that who I think it is it's Samoa Joe we haven't seen Samoa Joe in six or seven years since he was fired from WWE after a shocking loss to Trey for the Universal title. Well, apparently, he hasn't gotten over that. What the heck is that? It looks like some kind of enhanced arm. Like Samoa Joe wasn't deadly enough already. Unbelievable. This is shocking. I cannot believe Samoa Joe is back. I know, after all this time, I never thought we'd see him again. And he just broke Trey in half. Drew McIntyre covers Trey. It's all over. Becky Lynch and her team has won the best of five series, and Becky is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. It looks like Trey's going to throw up. I don't blame him. Not only did he lose the series and Red's championship, but the nightmare that is Samoa Joe has returned to terrorize him. I'm back, and I'm coming for you. I'm honestly stunned at what we've just witnessed, <laughs> and so is Trey. This is going to send shockwaves throughout WWE. If security had done their jobs that night, Samoa Joe never would have made it past the arena's metal detector. Sorry, just trying to keep it positive which is hard to do because our story wouldn't be complete without talking about one giant negative.
I'm referring, of course, to the arrival of the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun in WWE. Because of Brooklyn, our lives and careers would never be the same. Although if you think about it, they were pretty much the same as they'd always been because no matter where we went or what we accomplished, we could never escape Brooklyn's loud, obnoxious shadow. We gave Brooklyn a lot of chances to prove she had changed. Well, mostly Trey did. But ultimately, she only proved one thing. She was the exact same bully she was way back when we were in high school. And she wasn't just a jerk to us. She disrespected anyone she dealt with, including WWE legends. Is that all you got? It feels like you're taking a teacup poodle for a walk on my back. Excuse me, Miss Von Braun, can we talk? Can't you see I'm conducting important GM business? Come on, I really need you to get in there. Work it. It will only take a minute. What? I don't want my car washed or candy from your stupid kids fundraiser or whatever crap you're selling. Actually, I'm the original American hero, Kurt Angle. You know, the Hall of Famer you borrowed your nickname from without asking? Come back in five with stronger hands. So what do you want? An autograph from the real American hero? A picture? Tell me what I need to do to make you go away. I need you to drop the lawsuit against me. If you don't, it will bankrupt my family. No chance. I'm the way more famous American hero, and I will not allow you to continue profiting off my celebrity. I won a gold medal for my country with a broken freaking neck. What have you ever done that makes you an American hero? Uh, filed a trademark? Security! Wait, maybe we can settle this without lawyers. If there's anything that could change your mind, I'd do it. Anything? It just so happens we have a superstar who was gone for a very long time and needs to knock off some ring rust. So I'll drop the lawsuit if you can beat Samoa Joe. But Joe's a monster. He's got that bionic arm that could tear me apart, and I haven't competed in years. Samoa Joe hasn't competed in years either, so it should be a competitive match. Good luck. I never expected to see tonight. Kurt Angle has been retired for years. Brooklyn Von Braun's legal case against Angle has clearly caused him distress so much that he's willing to risk his well-being to get Brooklyn to drop the lawsuit altogether. But Kurt Angle should have just stopped using the American Hero nickname when he had the chance and none of this would be happening. Instead, he let his pride get in the way of rational thinking. Now he's in for a world of physical and financial suffering. Tough spot to be in. Oof. Kurt Angle attacking like a madman. He's known to have good stamina. See if he can sustain this effort. Incoming. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Boom, what a forearm. It'll destroy your face. Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Oh, I want a close line. Forcefully delivered. Enough already. Angle slam attempt. Joe counters. It's all over. It's Trey. He has no business being out here. Kurt Angle from behind. He got him. Kurt Angle has defeated Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is livid. I imagine Brooklyn Von Braun isn't going to be too pleased either. Too bad. All that matters is Kurt Angle has got the win. And now he can officially be known again as the American hero. Since you like getting involved in my business so much, maybe you should pay all the legal bills for the lawsuit I have to drop now. Yeah? Well, you messed with us in the best of five series, and that cost Red her title. So I'd say we're even now. Is that what you think happened? I signed Samoa Joe because he was unfairly let go from WWE, not to mention he's a great addition to the roster. But I had nothing to do with him costing you the series. I don't control him. No one can. Which is something you should be very worried about. So if you're not out to get us, then prove it. 
Give me a rematch for my championship that I lost without ever being pinned. Let me think about that. No. That's what I thought. But what I will do is give the audience something new and fresh. Trey, you're going to face Adam Cole next week for his WWE Championship in a no disqualification match. See? Maybe I'm not so bad after all. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go find someone else I can sue to recoup my losses. This is a huge opportunity tonight for Trey as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Adam Cole for the WWE Championship in a no disqualification match. Honestly, I'm surprised Brooklyn put Trey in this position, especially after he got involved in the Kurt Angle Samoa Joe match last week. Everyone thinks they know Brooklyn and her intentions, but she said it herself. She's made an entire career out of defying expectations. It's what led her to success in mixed martial arts, and I predict it will also benefit her greatly in WWE. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Three. The champion is in serious jeopardy here tonight. I don't think I've ever seen a more determined challenger. And the referee starts his 10 count. He's just dominating at this point. He's a spinning ball of energy. And he's heading back in. Oh, again! Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Yeah, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship features the most dynamic superstars in the promotion. This should be a barn burner. If the manner in which Adam Cole debuted in NXT wasn't enough, look at his body of work since then to see how vicious this man can be. Everyone having victims to this man's assaults. Look, I don't know why you're acting surprised. The Undisputed Era founder knows it takes brute force to get the job done and win championships. He shouldn't have to apologize to you or anyone else for that. Saw what he had in mind there. No, another reversal. Neither of them are willing to give an inch here. Oh, huge big boot. Downward spiral. See ya. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Oh, what impact. Something that was recognized earlier was Adam Cole's trail of destruction since coming to NXT. I think it's obvious that he will do anything he can to get ahead, no matter who gets hurt along the way or what it costs. I feel like I'm the adult at a dinner table with a bunch of whiny kids. All that matters is that Adam Cole is a proven winner and an effective leader, plain and simple. Oh, wow, what a sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. Eludes the attack. Oh, read right him there. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Oh, he's really taking it to him. Man, this is not good at all. Evading possible disaster there. Launched with a belly to belly. German suplex. But that's not all. Trey has Adam Cole in trouble. Hold on, what is Samoa Joe doing out here? Whoa, what the heck? That makes no sense whatsoever. What are you doing? Cover him! I'm not gonna win like that! Fine. Oh. And now Samoa Joe with the attack on Trey. It seems Samoa Joe wants Trey to win the match, and he's going to do anything he can to make it happen. Count it! Now! I'm not sure why Samoa Joe did what he did, but as a result, Trey is your new WWE Champion. I really have no explanation for this either.
As far as we know, Samoa Joe has nothing but contempt for Trey. So why would he help him win the WWE Championship? Hopefully we'll get some answers soon. I wanted to earn this. Now everyone's gonna look at me like I'm some kind of fluke champion. Again. I know you're frustrated, but maybe it's not that bad. Besides, if you defend it enough, then people will respect you. Seven years. Seven years ago, you took what was mine, and I never got to take it back. You know, a lot of significant life events can happen in that amount of time. Birthdays, holidays, Funerals, and I miss them all. Because for over 2,500 days, one thing has consumed me, revenge. I even augmented my body to ensure that when the time came, there would be nothing that stopped me from destroying you. So now, we're so close. I helped you win this championship for one reason only. So I can finally take back what you took from me. But that doesn't even make sense. It's not the same title. Don't! Don't say that. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Seven years and the surgery and the pain and I am going to take it back. Hey! You want to tell me what that was all about? I had nothing to do with it. You think I wanted to win the title like that? I don't think you give a damn as long as you're champion. I want my rematch! I promise I'll make this right. Okay, chump. Okay, Trey, how about we do that right now? No. Trey? Trey! Let's go! From the outside, my life looked pretty good. I was WWE Champion, and I was about to team with none other than Ronda Rousey in the Mixed Match Challenge. The truth is, I couldn't enjoy any of that. I had a maniac breathing down my neck who'd spent seven years planning my demise. But at least my title defense against Adam Cole would take place in a steel cage so that psychopath couldn't interfere. Or so I thought. Contest is a steel cage match and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenge. It's not often that a newly crowned champion defends their title for the first time in a steel cage. But that's exactly the situation Trey finds himself in tonight against Adam Cole. Usually the purpose of a steel cage is to keep two opponents inside. But in this case, I think the intention is to keep Samoa Joe on the outside if he were to get involved. Honestly, after everything we've seen from Samoa Joe since he returned, I'm not sure this steel cage is enough to keep him at bay. Oh, wow, what a sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. Nice amateur takedown. Lost in the corner right now. Wait a minute. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars are going to give everything they can to win here tonight. Adam Cole doesn't care if the WWE Universe cheers him or if they boo him. He knows that either way, they can't keep his name out of their mouths. It adds an extra spring in his step to know that no one in that crowd can dispute how good he is. Big, big oh. back body drop. What elevation. Oh, what a counter. Quick 
Corey, you may be right about how good Adam Cole is. He's one of the most exceptionally gifted talents of his generation. But I disagree with you about his thoughts on the WWE Universe. He has his own call and risk. Adam Cole reverses, sending Trey straight into the steel cage. Trey looks like he's in severe pain. And right on cue. Just as Adam Cole seems to have this match won, here comes Samoa Joe to try to stop him. Joe slams the cage door on Adam Cole. Joe is dead set on keeping the WWE Championship on Trey so he can take it from him after not getting his rematch seven years ago. Trey with a drop kick into the cage, sending Samoa Joe crashing to the floor. Trey isn't going to sit back and let Joe help him. Well, it's admirable, I guess, but I think he should take the help. It appears Red is out here to help get rid of Samoa Joe so Trey can show he can do this by himself. Don't feed into his ego, Red. If you were a real friend, you'd let him have any help he could get. Trey is equally determined to prove he's not a fluke champion. He wants to win this match on his own. <laughs> That's a good way to make your presence felt. From behind. What grace. Float over into DDT. Fight. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Again! He's in control. Northern Lights bomb! Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Two superstars, and they both want one thing. The WWE World Heavyweight title. One of the biggest jewels in the WWE jewelry box. But that's not all. He has him right where he wants him. Up and... Oh, look at this. Here's Breaker after the float over. That was covered by the challenger. And the champ kicks out. Still a lot more fight left. Thus far, it's been a phenomenal championship match. Who will win? Who's going home with the title? Harsh impact. Ooh, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, nasty impact. You got a feel for Adam Cole. Cover for the championship. And another kick out. We're going to take more than that. Lightning fast reflexes. Wow, what a sequence. He's looking down on the cage from the top. This is it, guys. Ouch. Harsh impact. Ooh, 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 what impact. Boom, what impact. Ooh. Oh, wow, what a sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. Showing this steel cage match is in the books. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, The Eliminator. Wow, 
Now that's a commanding win. <laughs> I'll tell you, Adam Cole's never going to be an industry ruler with losses like this. Guys, I've literally got chills after watching that thrilling championship match.